Aha, uh -huh. here we are again. Hmm, all right, 1st of November. It's not too bad, actually. A bit damp, not too cold. It's uh, no wind, which is lovely. The sun's just coming up. It's 20 past 8 in the morning. One cup of coffee. Oh, that's nice. On my Nav Explorer. Um, yeah, stubble field, so. I'm going to leave the Virgin in d tech on for now. Um, there's nothing ploughed. Although there's a very nice looking field over there that's been, been ploughed, but it's not not belonging to this landowner. And there's another one down there which has been ploughed and rolled. Um, so I'm going to ask this landowner if he knows that one. See if I, he might be able to give him a ring. He's good like that. It's not a very big field, it's only sort of butted onto the end of this one. Um, strange arrangement, but that one's ready for seed, so you never know. Um, I might come back tomorrow if I get the okay. Same with that one over there. But for now, we're going to stay here. Uh, I've had um, square out the hammers and the skeet and, and the annual approach, oh, loads of stuff over there, so I'm just going to plod around, enjoy the nice morning sun and that dewy stubble, finish my coffee and uh, see you in a while. Alright, been here half out. We have one medieval ring pull, one coppery looking leatherwork stud, from what I can tell. Uh, I managed to dig a deep bit of iron. I've got it on um, all metal mode this morning. It's a bit noisier. Uh, the recovery is good on this machine, so. But this was just given off the odd high blip, and I thought oh, I'll dig it anyway. Wasn't getting many targets until that is almost a surface find in there. Just, just grazed it with the spade. You can see where I just literally stuck the tip of the spade in. That looks now like a hammer coin. Hope I haven't damaged it too much. No, I haven't. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Half an hour. Half an hour. That looks really nice on this side. It's probably a chippy thing out here, a lump out of it. Ooh, you know what? No more rubbing. Get told off otherwise, but that looks like there's a a rose there. Or is that a crown? That's a crown. Ooh, look that says Rex at the top. I wonder who it's gonna be. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> half an hour. Not done this bit of the field before, so I'm gonna give it a quick um, clean with some spit. I did bring some tin foil actually, it's in my bag, so I could give it a little light clean at uh, tea break time. I've only got four hours today, so what a start. There we go, bit of a spit and a clean, as good as it's going to get. That is a James I sixpence. Uh, where are we? Of the Stuart household. From 1566 to 1625, and he was King of Scotland as James VI. 1567 and the English and Scottish crowns united in March 1603 so that's brilliant look at that I haven't found many James coins until the last month and I seem to have found loads where I have that's that's the bit I grazed and it was literally a graze thankfully and the date on the top is 1605 stunning even with a bit missing. Not a bad condition coin at all. There's his mug on that side. And the sun's come out nice and bright for me. Look at this. I may as well go home now. Don't think we're going to get better than that today. Again, not the biggest hole. I'm not expecting deep holes today because I'm on stubble, so I'm losing a few inches. But 
I think this is a. I don't know actually. I don't think it's. Looked like a coin, but. Yeah. Lovely imprint though. Look at that. That's a big old button, that one. Uh, that could be. I don't think it's a livery button, but you never know. Uh, yep. I mean, that, that hammer's just got. Anyone could have found that. Doesn't matter what machine you have. That hammer was so close to the surface. It's just a matter of walking over it, and uh, yeah, nothing special needed to find that one. Or this one, really. This wasn't that deep either, so awesome. It's just the right place, right time. Got to step over it to find it. Cool. Again, another pretty much surface find. Just see where that was. I don't know what this is going to be. Pretty thick, so whether it was like a. I'm waiting for a hole actually. It's either going to be some sort of hanger or a keyhole cover. Uh, so it's, it's a bit. It's not completely symmetrical, but I'm guessing it's just that's down to age and how long ago that was made. Yeah, we just give it a quick clean and see if there's anything on the front just there. Don't know, still don't know, but definitely one worth hanging on to. Whether it's only a couple of hundred years old or whether it's sort of four or five hundred years old, I well, will find out. Right, I do believe, I think this is a pen knife. I've never found a pen knife. People find loads of these, I know. Some people do. I've never found one. Looks like a pen knife, it's all rusty inside. It's got that pen knife shape to it. Let's see if it's got a little lug on the end. That's what I'm going with, just because it's all blown and all the blade or whatever it is is rusted inside. I think it pinged up on the machine, because I'm presuming the outside is some sort of copper or brass. Yeah. Looks pen knifey. Give it a brush off in a second just to be sure, but yep. Yeah. And that's what it is. Oh, it's been a while since I found something, but that was the biggest hole I've dug for a long time. This is right on an existing footpath that runs across the field. Not really been near it. Um, I don't know how deep this was or what, I just know it was extremely sketchy and jumping all over the place, but we do have a coin, probably a half penny, probably Victorian or George or something, got a feeling it's too far gone to get anything off it, but a little clean up at the end will reveal. Next up, out of that little hole, spindle well. I can't remember the last time I one of these. Been a little while. A bit bashed about, but it's definitely still a spindle well. One hole, top, bottom, and the right shape. Cool. Yeah, it's really, really hard in the stubble when it's full of weeds. It turns the stubble into sort of some sort of solid carpet, and it is not fun. Right. About half hour left ish. Guess keep swinging. Right, next up. I think it's a farthing. I did manage to trench it with my spade. Uh, I make out. I oh, can probably see it. Some lettering around the top. Can't work out who it is yet. Oh, I think there's a little. I think that's a glimmer of a date there. Yeah? Sure, that says 25. Ugh, just licked it. Um, I don't know. If I find out what it is. It will come up along the bottom of the screen, probably around about now. Um, yeah, 1925 maybe? Could be completely wrong, but there you go. Another nice strong signal. Uh, there's the imprint down there. There it is, there. Now, could be something, could be nothing, but I thought I'd uncover it with you. On the back, or I'm going to zoom it the back. To me, this looks like a badge with a clasp. Now this is made out of lead. Really heavy. Maybe a heavy old badge to be wearing. 
as if it is a badge. Or is it some sort of, uh, it could be a seal. Uh, is it a textile seal? And that would have looped through that hole. Ah, oh. lovely. clean. See so if there's any, there could be some little stamps on it, I'm not sure. Yeah, if there is, I shall turn you back. Hmm, my broken buckle. Just, it was bent right over and it just fell off, but still got it all. Yeah, one buckle, quite close to the surface and there was a bit of iron in the hole, so it kind of disappeared at one point. But yeah, no, it's really testing the recovery on this machine. Um, so yeah, cool. Not quite sure on age, not too old, but buckle nonetheless. Well, that's about me dump. Three and a half hours worth. Um, there's a spindle wheel and the some sort of seal, bag seal, textile cloth seal, not sure. Um, unknown item, but interesting that is all the same. Load of buttons, quite a few buttons this morning. Mm, that's lead and assorted bits of copper and odds and ends. Rubbish. One pen knife, which is pretty much rubbish. One shotgun end, don't get many of them on this field. Uh, and three coins. Um, I'm going with farthing on that. I'll probably get a date off that. As you can see writing, but I don't want to clean it out, out here. That's probably a half penny. Just see around the edge. And that lovely hammered. 1605. Look at that bit of tin can. James the first. Not bad day, it's been enjoyable. I've not been out for over a week. Uh, I might head down the beach tomorrow. Or I'm just gonna call in at the farm around the corner. Because he's ploughed a field, a very small one, a very junky one, but <clears throat> I'm not afraid. We'll give it a go. See if he's drilled it or if he's just rolled it. The field at the end had been drilled, so I couldn't do it even if I wanted to. Um and the chances of me doing it are unlikely, he said, because it's a club field, but that's never put me off. I've managed to get club fields before. It's just how you talk to the landowner. And it's only a tiny little, tiny bit of land. Not very much doubt the club would go on. He's just a club orientated farmer. I think his other fields are club based. That one, mm, I doubt it, but you never know. And the one over to me right, um, he said he might have a word, see if we can have a word with the landowner. So, hopefully in the future, I'll have another field next door. But, until next time, I'll see you all later. Pictures on Facebook, especially of that coin. I shall clean it up gently with a bit of tinfoil. And um, I'll clean these up as well. And anything else that pops out of here that might be interesting. Right, cheers for watching, and see you all soon.